Hello and welcome to the 44th tutorial in the CoCos 2D JS version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at multi-touch ended. We'll be using the source code from the 43rd tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. CoCos 2D JS provides us with all the desired functionality for touch recognition in the form of events. We will take a look at detecting when the user has touched the screen using multiple fingers and lifting them off the screen. You will need a device or simulator to test this. If you aren't interested in developing for devices and only for the browser, don't worry as we will cover mouse events later in this tutorial series. Let's open up our app.js which contains oops is easy. Uh, which contains our current layer and in there we're going to add our multi-touch ended code. We'll be coding in Sublime, but I'll be testing it within Xcode. Just not doing it straight away in Xcode because the intelligence and the full code formatting is terrible for Cocos Co Cocos 2 djs If you know of a way to make it better, then let me know. So what we're gonna do is just copy and paste this. Make sure there's a comma here. And now what we need to do is change this to ended. This to ended. This to ended as well. So what we have, we have an on touches ended method. Takes two parameters, touches and events, so the event type and all well, the touches they can get the location. And now we're just printing off the x location for touch one and the x location for touch two, or at index zero and one. So what we're gonna do is just save this, minimize it, and open up our project in Xcode. So frameworks runtime source. Project iOS, iOS Mac, and now our Xcode project. Run the application in the simulator. So we have our project now. So if I do multi touch, click, it said touch began, touch ended, and I can do touch move, and there it does touch ended. We're just going to add some more code in here. So let's copy and paste this and the what we're going to do now we're going to add cancel we're not going to do an entire video for this simply because this is essentially the ended one but if let's say some of their application takes control of your device and you haven't necessarily lifted your finger off the screen but the touch just gets cancelled this event is called. Naturally you will just want to do the same as touch touches any so you can just call that function, call another function that's the same within it or just do the same code. For the most part that's what you're going to be doing but this is just to show you we're not going to be testing this but this is how you implement touches cancelled. We now have the means to detect when the multi-touch has began, moved, ended and even cancelled. Little task for you to do is detect the Y coordinate and think about touch events on different screen sizes we set up earlier in this series. Little clue, normalizing the coordinates is one way, but there are others. In the next tutorial, we will cover detecting by setting up mouse events. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.